Welcome everyone to this EmacsConf 2021. My name is Fermin. I work as a common lisp engineer at Ravenpack. And today I'm going to talk about um, Clede, the common lisp Emacs development environment. So um, what is Clede? So Clede is a project that I've been working on this year for a better, well, yeah, a better common lisp integration for static uh, tools. Um, for static and integrated Emacs tools. And to understand better what, what Clader is, we first has to understand the base uh, that I use, so the foundation that I use for create Clader. Um, so it is set it, specifically semantic. So we first have to talk about and understand what it is. So set it is a collection of Emacs development environment tools. It was created by Eric uh, Lud Ludlam, I hope to say that name right, in the late 90s. And the idea was to create an entire IDE for Emacs. So um, set it, it's still integrated into Emacs. And it has a lot of interesting things that are not used for too many people. So I'm going to explain some of those. So first let's go with the good ones, that one that I use for Clare and that can be used for other projects as well. Um, so some of the features that really set it half is um, parse generators. So we have Wizent and Bovine. Um, so Wizent is basically a Bison clone um, that was written in Emaclisp. Um, that you can also specify grammars. It's a really big and rather complex tool to work with. And it's squarely used for, as far as I know, um, two languages that are not also well supported, but we'll get into that later. And also Bovine, which is a way more simple tool like you can, you don't need grammar files. Um, you can write just in plain Emacs Lisp. And you also have utilities to work with those ta those um, generated tag um, trees, so to say. So um, these are not AST parsers like real Bison. They are tag based, so they basically get tags and extract information from them. And I can use that information uh, with Emaclist to contextually understand better the, the language that you're parsing. But in general, uh, this decision was made, as far as I know, uh, because of the Emaclisp uh, limitation of the time. So Emacs was Emaclisp is rather, uh, was a rather um, slower Lisp, slow Lisp. So uh, they decided to just use a tag-based thing instead of a um, a parse, I mean, a AST based one. And semantic give you some utility with that. A senator, for example, give you some semantic navigation. So, set it is way more than this, but this is not a set it talk. So, if you want to get more information, you can go to the official webpage. Um, I have to say that it is outdated and Emacs changed some things over the years because set it was merged into Emacs in 2011, as far as I know. So uh, you can also go to the official Emacs documentation, the manual, which will get more information about every tool. Uh, but it's a really interesting thing, and I'm really sad that it's forgotten. So let's go with the bad things. That said, it, it's an abandoned project. This has some benefits, like it's not going to change that much, <laughs> but it's of course not ideal. Uh, most of the tooling that um, set it have right now are surpassed by all the packages. And uh, as far as I know, Eric was working with C at the time, so he totally has real support. So you can use set it for all the languages, but to work really like an IDE, more or less, it's all the uh, C's, it's the only language support, and maybe some simple C++, but that's it. It needs more documentation. People really don't know how to use it because I have to say it's rather complex to get a project working with it and then uh, make the, use semantic because, well, it needs some maintenance and to update the code. But I will argue that even with these deficiencies, it's usable. And I use it as a foundation of base for parse infrastructure for other languages. I will say that with common lisp was rather easy because um, set it already have uh, an Emacs parser, even though it's not great. Uh, it's easy to adapt and to use. It's not used 
in an Emacs right now because well Emacs know very well itself <laughs> but uh, it's there um, so these of course are static parsers like uh, so you don't need to run any other language specific tools which is an advantage for some things and this is what basically said it is and I use um, the parse infrastructure and some tools to create a parser for common Lisp. Well, more or less. <laughs> Let's go to details. So I will say that it's not a parser by itself because as we all know, a parse, uh, a macro-based language is really hard. Um, mostly if you cannot have contextual information because if you create code while, um, at compile time or runtime, it's really hard if you don't have runtime. Um, so, yeah, basically, Clade can be described as a semantic extension. So, basically, it's like you can have um, semantic and use it with uh, common Lisp code and some common Lisp Emacs tool. So, um, yeah, so Python, which is not Python, is bovine. <laughs> and the semantic and senator for navigate uh, tags. And then communication with Slime, Sly, and Inferior Lisp. That means, I will show that later, but basically you can parse the buffer, get some tags, get information about the tags that you want, and then send some of that information to um, the Slime, Sly, or Inferior Lisp uh, REPL buffer. So you can get both things at the same time. Um, and given that it's a Lisp language, this can uh, be pretty interesting. So also, you have, I wrote some co uh, common package integration. So even though there's not a common Lisp standard, there's some um, libraries that are used by basically everyone. They are not part of the standard, but yeah, uh, so a lot of people use it. Like ASDF, which is the package manager. I will say it's the um, definition packages, so to say, better than the package itself and have more features. So I wrote a nice integration with it. And also 5am, which is um, a well-known uh, test um, package. So I just wrote this as example on how we, we can do with Clare. Okay. So let's look at the features and then we go to a demo. Let's see what you can think about. So um, um, you can go to my to the repository. Currently, it's not in Melpa, although I wanted to um, merge it. I mean, to add it to Melpa in the future. Um, hope to, I have. I want to clean the code and add some more features I'm working on that are now like an idle, so to say. But yeah, you can go here and then check uh, all the features and test it. And uh, to install it, pretty easy. You just add to path thing you don't need an external dependencies of everything's in emacs um this is this was tested with emacs 27 but probably going to work with emacs 25 25 onwards so it shouldn't be any problem so let's go with the features uh, okay so these are some uh set of integrations and um, first uh like i said it has um support for sly slime and inferior lisp if you're a common list developers you probably know a slime and a sly. And in fair list, it's basically just this stock Emacs REPL. Uh, so I support three, all those um, equally, should to say. And we have also 5am integration, the ability to, whoop, whoop, whoop. as I'm going to show later, you have the ability to send a uh, test, um, either packages or an entire suite of tests, and HDF which um, currently I'm just supporting basic um, project navigation and some information, uh, but it's a work in progress. So I also have some general utilities that are not directly related to Selet, but part of the Oclede package, which is Clede Highlight. It's highly inspired by the Emacs refactor, e-refactor. Um, yeah, so basically you have some um, nice highlights for let uh, variables. I want to expand that to also support parameters and function stuff, um, but it's not a high priority for me. But yeah, I sometimes use this. It's pretty neat when you have a big, 
uh, lead. Also some refactoring utilities. Some of those are can be said as overlap with some because it's string base. It's not doesn't have too much context information. Um but yeah. I have some sort of play symbol in region and simple tag. And then some clear commands. This is a thing that I use all the time. Click it on the find some commands to send to the ripple. Uh, we'll show some example. But basically you have already an example. <laughs> You define a list of commands, you put name, and then you put the common lisp code that you want to send. Given that this is, uh, you're writing this in Emacs Lisp in your configuration, uh, you can have some uh, runtime information when the code is sent. Uh, so uh, get a variable value or whatever. Okay, um, I menu integration, yes, semantic. Uh, I said it has a great I menu. Utilities to have a pet at I menu. So, yeah, I have a I menu list also work very well. I use this. So, you can have better when you go to a file that you don't fully know what is inside, it's better to navigate to have in like a tree. Um, yeah, this is the things I'm going to show the senator, which is, which is semantic navigator, and then some semantic specific tools like complete jump. Uh, which I don't use this one too much because we have slime and slime, but they're there. So, mm, yeah. And like I said, common list library support, which is duplicated. Okay, so let's go to the demo. Um, let's go to the demo file. Right. So, uh, first we have to do is uh, enable Clare. This is pretty easy. We call Clare start. And now it's sorted. <laughs> um, Clare is not an asynchronous parser, so semantic. And in this case, bovine is not. So um, if the file is large, it may take some time. It shouldn't because we have powerful computers. But if your computer is not that powerful, um, it may take a while. So uh, to see the information uh, that it has been parsed, we're going to call um, bovinate. Oops. Oops. Oh, I have to. Sorry. Let's enable semantic again. Do, 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 do. Let's start. Ovinate. Okay. Problem of the. <laughs> okay. So, um, this is the information that um, currently Claire is taking from the buffer. So, we can see it's taking this and it doesn't know where it is. So, this is the, um, the tag name. Tag name. This is the type. And these are some information and the location. Okay, so it knows that this is a variable and it has the default value. I know it knows this is a package, right? Because it's defined as a package. Um, doesn't understand what this is. It doesn't know this is a function because it's the phone. So you know, and some of this uh, is code. And it also understands some um, tests because it has five of integration. If it detects that as has some test here it will know that uh, indeed it is a test so let's try some first um, i menu so we can see here we have i understand that this have some sort of um, 5 a.m switch and some test defined i understand there's a package it will give you some variables defaults and it also will give you some misc for things that doesn't know where it is maybe it's a thing and you can also um, navigate with this, like this I menu, nothing. <laughs> so um, uh, let's go first with some senator. So with senator, we can navigate, go to the next tag, previous tag. All of these um, top level S expression are basically a tag, even though it's code. You can so it's you can navigate. Um, copy kill. This is our senator stuff. Um, some interesting thing that we can do is let's uh, launch Sly, right? Um, let's load 5 a.m. and let's send some tests. So we can say, okay, uh, Clare 5 a.m. same current test, and it will okay have to compile this file first. Okay, you don't like this? Can you compile the tests? Okay. 
Mm, well, <laughs> let's we'll have yeah, we'll have uh, the switch here. So let's um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, da -da. okay. Yeah, because I guess it's getting sorry about this. Okay, so uh, let's say we're going to send this test. Oh, it's not working. Okay, why are you not working? <laughs> um, I don't. Maybe because we have to go to the package. Um, package. Bam. Yes. Sorry. Um, yeah, so we can go here and we're gonna say five minutes and test and that we have it. It will send the test that we are currently in. Right. So <laughs> that's the thing. Another interesting thing that they said is clear the highlight minor mode. That basically uh, work in the LED context. I need to know where uh, all the to highlight all the variables and we can disable uh, what else do we have uh, so we have framework integration you can go clear it and see what more commands are commands run are basically a way to define commands you have a variable which is clear the commands list uh, explain that you can um, get some system working or whatever command you want right also you have Sony SD basic integration. You can go to a definition file of some of the systems that are already loaded. For example, let's go to here. And we go to the definition file, the SD file. Right. Um, this is used because I'm sending commands uh, for in the REPL. So this is functionality is not provided by um, set it or semantic. Um, but I can also get some sort of information for um, um, for SD file, uh, which is work in progress. But you can go to some component file when you have a big SD file with a lot of components and some other interesting thing. That's still a work in progress. But um, yes, uh, so these are most of the functionality. The most interesting thing, uh, I think, is the base for it, the, the foundation, sorry. So you can expand. Let's go to source code, for example, at 5 a.m. So, as we can see here, this is the 5 a.m. integration. And to add it, I did just define some um, new functions. And then you use this. Uh, set up a new form parser This we use to uh, get some information about the S expression top level and we define the names, we define information they want to take from the symbol and everything else. Also some util types um, that would be going to be added to the iMenu thing, for example iMenu test suite and test. And then um, these are uh, for example some function to send information to the slide, slime or um, infer list depend on you on the list by using. So uh, I do have no more time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you very much. Um, boop, 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 boop. My name is Fermin. You can send me a, a mail in at my mail, and that's my webpage. I hope you like it. And see you.